So uh, let me come to you. At what point are we erasing biological females um, from women's sports, from International Women's Day ceremonies? Uh, it's happening all day long, every day. Uh, been a woman since fertilization. <laughs> And uh, more than half a century, and you know, through the 70s and the 80s. And by the way, there is still information on the internet that goes right to the biology of it. The Pampers website actually goes into the, all the biology of what determines the sex of a baby and when you can tell the gender. And it goes into Joe Biden awards a biological male you, that's when an award on Women's Day, Women's um, Courage Day. Yep. Yeah, Start working 30 years. Starting working 30 years ago, it, I was always told, "Oh, you're a woman, and you're not enough, and you're not enough, and you're not enough." And we're still being told that, just in a different way. It's really kind of appalling. Yeah, and Chris, you know, the Democrat Party is supposed to be the party of women. We've heard that so many times. It's always been a farce. But fighting for women in education, fighting for women equity in the workforce, and it seems that that's just a bygone era. It, it is. I feel like this this uh, is quite a distraction from us actually celebrating, you know, amazing, powerful, strong women, present company included, by the way, you know, it's, it, God bless them, please subscribe. Guess, you know, six Thank you six, to the new subscribers for supporting off. the channel. And this is actually a little bit more intimidating if I'm being honest. I'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, but, you, you know, I, I think that there are, we have to celebrate the amazing